Hello, welcome to Board Game TV. We're continuing with our sentence playthroughs. And our villain this time is Deadline. A radical peacemaker. Okay, he is kind of like... If you've seen Avengers Infinity War, he's kind of like that version of Thanos. Except, uh, no gauntlet, and he just makes a bunch of catastrophes happen. He just wants to destroy stuff to make it better and rebuild it. That's basically what he is. Um, I'm sure there's a Marvel or DC guy around that's kind of like him. But, you know, that's just the best way I can explain it. Okay, let's look at him. Terrigrith watched the end of his people a hundred years ago, and now lives in the enclave of the Endlings as the last of his kind. Recently, he observed cosmic events circling around a distant star system in the Milky Way galaxy. He was witnessing the beginning of another extinction event. Terrigoth traveled to the planet Earth. He knew that destroying enough of this foreign planet would slow, if not stop, entirely the cosmic events which threatened their very existence. With a heavy heart, Terrigoth took the mantle of Deadline and sought to leave a scar from which humanity may never fully recover. So, there you go. <laughs> um, okay, at the start of the game, put Deadline's villain character card into play, Radical Peacemonger side up, which we have done. He has 80 hit points. Search the villain deck for the card Atomic Englave and put it into play, shuffle the villain deck. There it is right here. And this is at the end of the villain turn. This card deals the hero target with the highest hit points, three energy. At the end of the villain turn, if there are three or more catastrophe cards in play, we flip his card. Otherwise, play the top card of the villain deck. And that's his big thing, catastrophes. And, um, yeah, you'll see. They'll come in. We're playing at the Insula Primalis. And our heroes are the Naturalist, who is Deadline's nemesis. So we're going to go over his origin in just a second. But this is his original card. Search your deck or trash for a form and put it into play. If you search your deck, shuffle your deck. We have Haka again. His original card. Haka deals one target, two melee damage, 34 hit points. We have a new guy, Benchmark. That's right, he's from the Oblivion. Well, is he from the... No, he's not from the Oblivion. Well, if you kick-started, you got him. He's like a mini-expansion. So here he is, the new standard. Draw a card, benchmark deals one target, one energy damage. I haven't played with him yet, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes. And his cards are kind of like uh, the original Sentinels cards. And we have Termination Unity, that's right. She's part of Termination as well. Reconfigure, destroy a mechanical golem, then shuffle it into your deck. Move a mechanical golem from your trash into play, you may draw a card. She has 27 hit points. He has 31. So it'll be uh, interesting to see. Now let's take a look at... Uh, let's see. Where is... What did I do with... Because the Naturalist is from the... Vengeance expansion. Oh, here it is. And so let's read you his origin. and see what he's all about. Young Michael Conte started the Conte Energy Corporation in Nigeria and by the time he was 30 he controlled many of the world's refineries. Then he began having terrible dreams which he ignored until the morning he woke up as a gazelle panicked. He escaped into the wilderness and spent months as a gazelle. He woke up, I'm sorry, I didn't, I, period, I, I need my reading glasses on. Okay. Then he began having ter terrible dreams, which he ignored, until the morning he woke up as a gazelle. So he woke up as a gazelle. Panicked, he escaped into the wilderness and spent months as a gazelle, unable to understand his new life. One day, a drum playing man with red hair approached Contest, explaining that he was cursed by a primal spirit. Hmm, I wonder if that was the ardent adept. Then, the musician struck a discordant chord on a stringed instrument and turned the gazelle into a rhinoceros. Months passed until one day the man returned. The rhino charged but his feet fell out from under him. Green plated flesh took, the, flesh took the place of his former gray skin. The crocodile seething at the earth spirits and red-haired man slunk into the river. Years passed. 
Now the naturalist fights those who would harm others, from corporations bleeding the planet dry to mad scientists attempting to pull the moon into the earth. The naturalist protects the world and its resources and its people. Um, I don't know, kind of like Animal Man, but with only three animals. Um, <coughs> uh, kind of mixed with Captain Planet. <laughs> I don't know if you say that, Captain Planet, but yeah. That's kind of what he is. Um, so there's that. So... I'm eager to play. I want to see how Benchmark does. I don't know if I should read his origin or not. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you we'll wait until the next time we play him to, to read Benchmark. Um, his nemesis is Oblivion, so yeah, I'm coming to play. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Deadline. We have no at the start of the turn things. So let's go ahead and play his first card. And we have a catastrophe calculated orogenous we're getting reports that a mountain has sprung up downtown I can't believe what I'm hearing <laughs> megalopolis metro news okay at the start of villain turn play the top card of the environment deck then that environment card deals each non villain target to melee damage okay well good we don't have to do that just yet maybe we can get rid of it then we have at the end of the villain turn if there are three or more catastrophe cards in play nope flip his character card. Otherwise, play the top card of the villain deck. Okay. Here we go. And we have, again, that same card. Now, I swear I shuffled. Okay. Uh, the Atomic Inglade. At the end of the villain card, this turn, this uh, villain turn, this card deals the hero target with highest hit points, three energy damage. And that will, of course, be Haka. So Haka's going to take three damage. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Hmm. We have his gazelle forms. Hmm. Well, you know, the shift of strength. <clears throat> Hyperactive senses looks good. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I honestly am stumped. Alright. I think... Well, I want to keep this one. I want to keep this one. Actually, I think, I think this is what I'm going to do. We're going to discard two cards. Alright, draw as many cards as you discard it that way and you may play a card. Okay. Uh, ah, was a mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. <sighs> Shoot. Okay. We'll play that card. We will do search your deck or trash for a form and put it into play. We search our trash, we got the gazelle form. Uh, I have a card here that'll help with the ongoings, but I screwed that up totally. And dang. Okay. It's Haka's turn. Hmm. Let's see. Draw two cards and discard one or more cards. Increase. Okay, I think. We'll do that. We'll draw two cards. And then we'll discard one, two. Uh, hmm. Three. Three cards. And then I will do my crush. <clears throat> so I can do a target five damage. And I'm going to hit him for five. And now we'll try a card. Okay, benchmark. Let's see what you got here. Hmm. One shot. Draw the three cards. Move any number of hardware and software cards in play to your hand. 
play up to X hardware where X number of cards move to your hand this way. Well, that's not going to do that. Reveal cards from the top of your deck until a hardware card is revealed. Put it into play. Discard the other. You may move a hardware or software card from the trash to your hand. Uh, whenever bench work will be dealt damage by a non-hero target with two for you destroy that target instead. Okay. Uh, Alright, I think we'll do this one shot here. Reveal cards from the top of your deck until a hardware card is revealed. That's a software. Put it into play. Discard the other cards. Software. One shot. Software. Hardware. Okay, we put that one into play. Increase hit points recovery by bench part by one at any return. If you have five or few cards in your hand, draw a card. If you do not draw a card this way, you may play a software card. Okay. And it says we may move a hardware or software card from our trash to our hand. Five targets, one energy damage. Benchmark deals himself one energy damage and deals one target for melee damage. Whew, that's pretty good. Discard a card. If you do, one player may draw. Okay. I think I'm going to put this software card back into my hand. Wow. Okay. Alright. Alright, because it said <clears throat> put it into play. Uh, wait a minute, what? What did I do? To a heart, put it in play. You may move it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now I have four cards in my hand. I have that software card I just got. And then we have a power here. Uh, draw a card. Okay. Benchmark deals one target, one energy damage. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do this thing some, uh, some energy damage. Okay. And then I have at the end of your turn, if you have five or fewer cards in your hand, two, three, four, five, draw a card. If you do not draw a card this way, you may play a software card. I want to play that software card that I just put in my hand. Yeah, okay. I, I should have drew a card. Yeah. Okay, well, that's going on. It's a little bit more complex, but okay. That's how these newer ones are getting. Uh, Benchmark deals himself one energy damage and one target for melee. At the start of your turn, if you have more software than hardware in play, draw a card and destroy two software cards. Yeah, sure. Get in close, pal. I don't just shoot lasers. <laughs> huh. Alright, we have Unity here. Let's see what we got with Unity. <clears throat> well, dang it. I got a B-Bot here. Okay, well, here we go. We'll play equipment, modular workbench. Discard one card. If you do, put one mechanical golem from hand into play. Um, okay. We'll do that. <clears throat> we the B-Bot. Put it into play. When this card is destroyed, Unity deals one target, two projectile, and you may destroy one ongoing or environment card. All right. Okay, and there we go. Draw a card. Now the Insula Primalis. River of Lava. Ugh. At the end of the environment turn, each hero may destroy one of their equipment cards. Deal any hero that does not destroy an equipment card. Four fire damage. Ugh. Uh, at the start of the turn, if each player discards the top three cards of the deck, destroy this card. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, well. <clears throat> Haka. <clears throat> excuse me. Haka and the Naturalists will not be destroying any equipment cards because they don't have any to destroy. So. They're each going to take four damage. It's terrible. 
benchmark can destroy and will we'll destroy this equipment card. Okay. Now, she, I guess, can destroy this equipment card. Uh, now, however, any hero that the, the B bot's not gonna, it's a hero target, so it doesn't have equipment card, so it wouldn't be destroyed. So we'll get rid of that, and there we go. Okay, so <laughs> that was terrible. It's Benchmark's turn. All right, so we do have two at the start of. At the start of villain turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Then that environment card deals each non-villain target two melee damage. Okay, we're going to do this twice. We have engaged, enraged T-Rex at 15. <clears throat> All right, so let's do two targets that are non-villain, two damage. So naturalist is going to take two damage. Haka is going to take two damage. Benchmark is going to take two damage. And Unity will take two damage. And the B bot is destroyed. Okay, now what we're going to do with that is when this card is destroyed, Unity deals one target two projectile damage. We're going to hit this for two. And we can destroy an ongoing or environment card. And we will destroy this catastrophe card right there. Okay, so that, that's fine. <clears throat> So now we don't have to do this one again. Okay. That was at the start. Let's draw a card. We have another catastrophe. Severed Ley Line. At the start of the villain turn, each player shuffles their trash to their deck and Deadline regains two hit points. Such a horrifying act like pulling the plug on the world. Okay. Now at the end of the villain turn, <clears throat> if there are three or more catastrophes, there are not. There are only two. So we have to play... Uh, top card of the villain deck. Here's another catastrophe right there. Uh, at the start of villain turn, deadline deals each non-villain target one irreducible and one irreducible melee and one irreducible fire. Humans, you consider me your enemy, but I am your last hope. Sure, sure. Okay, and now we have at the end, the one with the highest is going to take three damage. So we have 23. Okay, it's benchmark. Okay. And now, <coughs> excuse me, it is his turn. Okay. We will play Crafty Assault. The Naturalist deals up to three targets, two melee damage. Okay, it's going to be <clears throat> two on this, three on this, because of the Nemesis, and two on the T-Rex. And then... It says, you may destroy up to two ongoing cards. Okay, so I will destroy this one. And let's see. I don't want him to heal, so we'll destroy that one. Okay, and now <clears throat> let's play a power. One player draws two cards, or the naturalist regains three hit points. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll regain three hit points. And then we will draw a card. Okay, Haka here. Let's see what Haka has. Um, we're going to deal one target at three melee damage. We're going to hit this. <clears throat> Then we'll play a power and we'll do crush one target two melee damage. So we got his weapon out. It's done. We'll draw a card. Okay, benchmark. At the start of your turn, if you have more software than hardware in play, draw a card and destroy two software cards. We'll shoot. I do. So I draw a card and I have to destroy this one. Alright, well let me see what I want to play. Hmm. Oh, boy. Uh, 
<clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'll play Tactical Communicator. I don't know if that's the smart way to play. Like I said, I haven't played this turn before. So, I, I, I guess I want to play hardware cards first. Hold on. I have two hardware cards in my deck here, in my hand. Uh, the first time, software card, benchmark deals up to two targets. Okay, let's play onboard cooling systems. The first time a software card enters play, each turn, benchmark deals up to two targets, two cold damage. You may use an additional power during your power phase. Look, man, I'm not saying I'm the only one who can have cold hoses and metal suit, but come on. Absolute zero. Okay. <clears throat> and then I will draw a card for my power, and I will deal one target, one energy damage. So, we'll do that one. Okay. Now I'll draw another card. Okay. Uh... We're going to play, uh, draw two cards. Okay. Unity deals up to three targets, one lightning damage each. All right, one on that one. One on him. All right. And then power. Destroy a mechanical golem. I don't have one to destroy, so there's really nothing else I can do. So we'll draw a card. Now, the start environment turn, if each player discards the top three cards of their deck, destroy this card. That's what we're going to do. We're going to discard the top three cards of our deck for each person. Wow, they really got good on the art on that. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's play. And we have Obsidian Field. Increase all damage dealt by one. At the end of their turn, one player may discard two cards to destroy this card. Okay, and we have the Enrage. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals a target other than itself with the second highest hit points, five melee damage. Uh, I think that's Benchmark. So Benchmark is actually going to take six damage. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, <clears throat> and now it is Deadline's turn. At the start of Villain turn, Deadline deals each non-villain target one fire and one melee. Okay, so let's do two on this guy. And actually four on the Naturalist. Okay, Hawkeyes, there. Ugh, and okay all right now we play a card catastrophe at the start of the villain turn two players must put one card from hand on top of their deck then then I deals eat two minus two two non-villain targets with the highest hit points, one cold damage. To save the multiverse, I have become my greatest fear. Well, that's terrible. All right. All right. So we played a card. We don't have three catastrophes, so we have to play another card. And there's your third catastrophe. And there we go. All right. Now it's our hero's turn. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll play this again. The naturalist deals up to three targets, two melee damage. You may destroy up to two ongoing cards. Okay, so we'll do two on this guy. Actually, it's three on this guy because of the obsidian fill. And it's four on him. And let's see which two we want to destroy. Well, I guess we'll destroy this one. And you know what? We'll destroy this one. Okay. Now we will play a power. And we will 
the naturalist will regain three hit points. Okay. Haka here. Let's see what we're going to do. Alright. Play this. Uh, I can deal one target, two melee damage, and draw a card. It'll be three melee damage. And we're going to hit the T-Rex. And Haka will draw a card. Okay. Benchmark here. We have some software cards. Destroy an ongoing card, an environment card, or a tar card with one hit point. Destroy this card. Yeah. Yeah. Damage ain't none here. Okay, no. That's a good one, but I don't want that one. Never benchmark would deal damage by now. Okay, we'll play this software card. Alright. Uh, and then the first time I can deal up to two targets, two cold damage each. So that's fine. It's going to be three. So let's do three and three. Okay. And then I have a power. Select a target. And the next damage dealt to that target is irreducible and increased by two. And we're going to say deadline is that target. Okay. And actually, that's not the power we're going to do. We're going to do draw a card, and then we deal one energy damage, which will pop the T Rex. And then we'll draw another card. Okay, Unity. Um, okay. <clears throat> We'll do this. Inspired Repair. You may draw a card. You may play a card. Each mechanical golem regains three hit points. Okay. Um, I want to play this. One hero may use a power now. If that power deals damage, increase that damage by two. Okay. And uh, Haka will use his power here. He's going to draw a card and do five damage to Deadline. And Unity, play a power. She does, she can't really do anything, so she'll just draw a card. Okay, at one player may discard two cards to destroy. Okay, and you know what? Uh, Unity <coughs> will get rid of two cards. And uh, we will destroy Obsidian Fields. Okay, um, it's Deadline's turn. At the start of the villain turn, Deadline deals each non-villain target one irreducible. So, again, the Naturalist is taking four damage. Okay. Haka will take two. Benchmark will take two. And Unity will take two. Okay. Alright, let's draw a card. We have a catastrophe calculated, okay. Alright, and now at the end we have to draw a card since we don't have three catastrophes in play and we have another catastrophe. Alright, so we have three now. Mm. Let's see, it's the naturalist turn. Hmm. Okay. Um what we're going to do is we're going to play Bestial Shift. The Naturalist regains three hit points. You may use a power now. Okay. And then one player draws two cards. I'm going to do that for Unity. Okay. All right. And then we have the other power. Um, the Naturalist regains three hit points. So he's going to regain three more. And then he will draw a card. Okay, Haka here. Hmm. Alright, we'll play this. And then we're going to pop him for two and then draw a card. Okay. And then it's the end of his turn. Benchmark here. At the start of your turn, if you have more soft, we do not play draw a card. If you have more, no, we don't. Okay. So let's see what I want to play as him. I, I guess I want to play a hardware if I have one. Um, uh, 
Okay, I'll do overhaul loadout. Draw up to three cards. Okay, move any number of hardware and software cards in play to your hand. So, uh, play up to X, X number of cards moved to your hand this way. So let's just go back and forth. Okay. So we're kind of even right now. So I think I'll just use my power where I draw a card and I deal one target with energy damage. And we'll do him. Okay. And then I draw another card. Okay, so it's Unity's turn. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay, we'll play this. Put up the two mechanical golems from hand into play and destroy this card. Or how many mechanical? I only have two mechanical golems in my trash. That's not real good. Okay, all right. So we'll put the Raptor Bot in play. We'll give it two hit points. At the end of your turn, this card deals one target X melee, where X is the number of mechanical golems in play, plus one. So he's going to do him two damage, because I'm not going to do this power. So two damage to deadline. We were unable to get rid of any of these ongoing catastrophe cards. So unless something happens with the environment turn, this there, he's going to flip. Obsidian field. Okay. There we go. Okay, so at the start of the villain turn, Deadline deals each non-villain target. So he's going to do four more to the naturalist. And he's going to do two to Haka, two to Benchmark, two to Unity. And this Raptor bot is gone. Actually, because of the obsidian fields, one, 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 and two. Okay. At the start of villain turn, play the top card environment deck. Then that environment card deals each non villain target two melee damage. Uh, primordial plat life. Okay. Three damage to everybody. So this is terrible. I couldn't get rid of those cards, man. Dang. Oh, man. Okay. At the start of villain turn, he deals each nine villain. So again, six on him, four on Haka, actually three on Haka, I'm sorry, three on Benchmark, and three on Unity. Yeesh. Okay, now we play a card. One shot, reveal the top three cards of the villain deck, put all catastrophe cards into play. Discard the other ones. Catastrophe, that's a start. A relic, and a catastrophe. Okay, and that one's at the start of the villain turn. Discard the top two cards of each non-villain deck and destroy two hero ongoing and or equipment cards. However, <clears throat> at the end of the villain turn, if there are three more, we flip him. So let's see what we got here. We're flipping him, and he is Remorseful Eco Vandal. At the start of villain turn, if there are no catastrophe cards in play, we flip him. At the end of villain turn, destroy all environment cards and shuffle the environment trash into the environment deck. Then destroy all catastrophe cards and deadline deals each non-villain target X irreducible fire damage and removes the top X cards of the environment deck from the game where X's number of catastrophe cards destroyed this turn. If there are no cards in the environment deck, the heroes lose the game. <sighs> I don't think we're going to do too good on him. All right. The Naturalist, you're up, buddy. Okay. We're going to 
draw four cards. Okay. Then we have a power, and he's going to regain three hit points. That's what we got to do. And he draws a card. Haka. Shoot. Has nothing. Okay, well, I will deal him three melee damage and draw a card and then draw another card. Okay, benchmark. Uh, at the start of your turn, if you have more, I do not. Okay, so let's see what I got as benchmark. Uh, I have a hardware. If dealt damage, you may discard a card. If you do, benchmark regain a deer benchmark. Okay, well, all right, I'll play that one. The first time benchmark is dealt damage each turn, you may discard a card. If you do, benchmark regains hit points. At the end of your turn, benchmark regains one hit point. It's fine. Um, first time a software card. Okay, and then we'll do a power. We'll do one target, one energy damage, and he can draw a card. Unless I have something here that just lets me destroy ongoing or environment cards. And I don't have that. I guess he's not that... Well, destroy an ongoing uh, or target with one hit point, destroy this card. Okay, well hold on. That We're not going to play that one then. We're going to play this one because this is not the start of our turn, so we don't have more. So we're going to play this uh, threat new destroy an ongoing card, an environment card, or a target with one hit point. We got to get rid of one of these catastrophes, and I guess we'll get rid of this one. Okay, and then we have to destroy this card, so it's done. And then we play a power, and we draw a card, and I can deal one target, one energy damage. Well, that's not that great, but okay. Okay, and then we could draw another card. Alright, this is Unity. Let's see what you have. She doesn't have much. Okay. No, I don't have anything. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to draw two cards. I mean, she doesn't have anything. And that's it. That's the end of her turn. Okay, when this card enters play, each hero may destroy one of their ongoing cards. Deal any hero that destroys an ongoing two docks of damage. Deal any hero that is not... Shit, I forgot about that. At the end of the environment, turn destroy this card. Okay. Uh, I would have not destroyed... I would have destroyed this one for him. So he would have took three toxic damage. I wouldn't have destroyed anything with Haka, so he would have took five damage. I wouldn't have destroyed anything from Benchmark. Well, actually, I would have. <clears throat> I would have destroyed this one. So he's going to take three. And Unity, well, she didn't have anything to destroy, so she would have took five. Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's play. <laughs> Volcanic Eruption. At the start of the environment turn. Okay. When this card is destroyed, when the card... Okay. Alright, so... At the end of their turn, one player made this card... Okay, I should have destroyed that, so... We would have had... Uh, what's his name? Benchmark, since I have half a deck here. Discard a couple cards and destroy that. This card is gone, and this card does not take effect yet. So, okay. Now, here it comes. At the start of the villain turn, Deadline deals each non-villain target two damage. 
All right, so two, two, and two. And he's going to take four. Okay, at the start of the villain turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Then that environment card deals each non-villain target two damage. Obsidian field. Crap. And it's going to be three damage. So, three. Three. Benchmark is out. And here we go. Three. All right. At the start of the vent deals, each non-villain target two damage. Haka is out. Okay. Unity is out. He will take four, and there he goes. Actually, he's taking three. I'm sorry. At the start of the villain turn, he deals. Okay, now he's out. And so we got our ass handed to us. Jeez. Boy, did I did I really play like crap on this one. Ooh, deadline. You really messed me up, man. Okay. Let's do thoughts on this. Okay. So, I think several things went wrong. I actually thought we were doing all right because we were getting his catastrophes cleared out. But we hit that one card and it just went to crap after that. And that one card was that one keep drawing to you. Draw a bunch of catastrophes. Uh, it, draw four cards, put every catastrophe, and we ended up drawing three of them. So, Well, we reduced him to about a little over, well, he, he had a little over half of his health. Uh, I couldn't get the naturalist going. Couldn't get, I couldn't, I don't know if I could get Benchmark going or not. I still got to play him a little bit more to to see how better he is. I couldn't get Unity going for nothing. So, yeah, Deadline, woo. Holy stunk, man. God, I, you know, usually these games are nail biters, but this one wasn't. This one was, I stunk it up. I will admit, I don't know if I just didn't play good, my strategy, whatever. I stunk this one up. But hey, that's all the fun of it, because next time I play Deadline, in the future, I can play with some totally different heroes and try to play a totally different strategy. We'll see. That is the fun of this game. So, you know, hey. I hope you join me next time. Next time, we'll be playing with the third villain from the Wrath of the Cosmos. And actually, one of my favorites, even though it's harder to keep up with, it's a really, really cool concept. I hope you uh, join me for that. So until then, have fun.